uh, included. So let's see what my caps are going to be doing here. Your challenge or focus is coming up as the queen of wands. So this could be uh, a fire sign woman that you're dealing with, Aries, Sag, or Leo, or someone with those traits. Um, for those of you who date women, this could be someone who um, you meet because you've recently moved. Um, but they're coming up as your challenge. So... Uh, there's a couple different messages I'm getting here uh, for this Queen of Rods. And she can be a male also in these general readings. Again, that's something that only in a private reading would I be able to specify. But uh, So it could just as easily be a, a male fire sign energy. She's coming up in the upright, though. So that means that she's, you know, her intentions are good. She's not a bad person. But maybe your, her personality just clashes with yours. Um now, for, for you who, for you Capricorns who date women, this could be somebody that you're just, you're interested in, you're attracted to, but at the same time, it's a little bit like they get on your nerves. <laughs> um, this could also be Capricorn, somebody who's interested in you, but that you're not interested in. And maybe she's always showing up where you are because we've got the rune of movement, shifts and changes coming up. Um... This could also be kind of a long distance relationship going on because again, we've got the, and you know, the challenge in July is you could be talking to this person about, you know, you know, one of us is going to have to move or this is not going to work. So who's it going to be? Um, now this could also be uh, this queen of wands, somebody who's competing with you for someone else, like someone you're interested in or have a crush on Capricorn or you want to date. Uh, and she is, and maybe you don't know, she's never expressed it to you. Maybe she's never said it to you, but she is always maybe flirting with this person too, or whatever, you know, maybe this is like their, their best friends or whatever. So they're always together and, and, but you think that she likes this person more than she lets on or, um, so yeah, there could be more than one person involved in this situation or, or two people competing for the affections of one person, or maybe she is competing with someone else for your affections. Maybe you are already married or in a relationship, Capricorn, and this woman, woman or man, uh, a fire sign is trying to get your attention. Um, I think for a lot of you though, it's just the, the challenge is trying to figure out how you can be with this person because there's distance. You live a, a far away. From each other or or at least a considerable distance and you're trying to figure out you know who's going to move some of you may be going to meet someone or trying to figure out a time to go meet someone that you met online in person so it could be like a first date kind of situation and you may be nervous about that because again it's coming up as the challenge here uh capricorn some of you may be having like a destination wedding or planning a destination wedding where everybody's going to be traveling to uh to go to the wedding and uh this fire sign person could be uh the person you're marrying or they could it could be a wedding planner or someone helping you plan this showing you wanting to show you properties venues things like that so quite a few messages coming through there's no way i could possibly run through all of them capricorn but those are the those are the ones i was getting most strongly here with this um there's a lot of protection around this situation though and it's kind of like just a wait and see kind of thing like i don't think you're going to get all get it all figured out have all the answers in july regarding this situation so i don't know that many of you are actually getting married in july it's possible but i think that most of you are um in the planning stages because it's coming up as a as a challenge here um or there may be someone you want to be with that is proving challenging um, or there could be somebody who is stalking you, but not in a creepy way, but it's just kind of like, oh my God, you know, or maybe this is someone you work with and it's like, you know, they like you, but you don't reciprocate and you're always having to run into them or deal with them or see them or maybe even work on the same team as them. And it's just, it's just really uncomfortable. Um, but we'll see as we move along what the, uh, what the advice is. I, the wait and see is what I kind of feel is going along with this, no matter how that situation is playing out in your life, Capricorn, because, um, you, you know, it may gradually just kind of disappear the challenge or, or something may come along to change the circumstances of one or both of you. Um, yeah, we'll see if we get more information about this. 
Now in the present energy, so this is June moving into July, we have the Justice card in reverse and Jera or Yera also blocked and need in reverse. There's a situation going on. And again, it's going to differ for all of you. This is because of the generalness. There's a situation going on that you feel unfair. It's almost like Capricorn. You may feel like you're being punished for something. It's like, why am I, why does this have to be happening? Why, you know, it just seems wrong, unfair, unjust. Um, like someone has taken advantage of you or like someone is using you or has used you. And for some of you, maybe this is not the first time this has happened. Maybe this is a repeating cycle. Maybe not just with one individual, maybe with more than one person. So, and you may be repeating a lesson, Capricorn, and we all do that, you know. And uh, the, the reason re we repeat lessons is because we didn't learn what we were supposed to learn the last time. So the, so the solution is to figure out, okay, how did I handle this the last time it happened or the last five times or the last four times? And, and um, that sucked and didn't work out. So what can I do differently this time to get a different outcome? Because again, you know, that saying, if you use this, you're not going to get a, a different result if you're using the same recipe, right? So you, there are patterns in life and figuring those out is how you figure out what it is you're supposed to do so that something stops happening. Um, now for some of you, this could just be, you know, maybe there's nothing you can do. Sometimes external forces and it's just, you know, I couldn't have anticipated this. There's nothing I can do to fix it. There's nothing, I, there's some things out of our control. Uh, earth signs do not like that. I don't think anybody loves uh, just kind of responding to, to circumstances that are outside their control, but it's gonna happen and there's nothing you can do about it. But you may be lamenting that Capricorn. It's like, um, you know, why does this have to be happening? And I'm not saying that you're wrong for feeling that way. You know, I, I you know, it may be a very unfair, unjust situation. Um, and it just may be at the beginning of July kind of blocking you or, or, uh, blocking the positivity from, from coming in. Um, for some of you, this could be a legal case because we do have both justice and, uh, Yara here, which are both legality. Uh, so the, you know, maybe there was a decision handed down that wasn't fair. Uh, you know, you didn't get a settlement that you wanted. They're trying to fight you on something that is, you know, you know is right or that you are in the right. And why, why am I getting this crap, <laughs> right? Why aren't you just fixing this? Or why aren't you just giving me my settlement? Um, so yeah, there may be some sort of delay or blockage around a legal situation, but it may not be as long lasting as you, as you think. But the help that's going to be available, we do have the hanged man coming up here. So the hanged man is always all about uh, like taking time out to see something from a different perspective, kind of like what we were talking about with the um, figuring out the patterns and what to do differently. Uh, it's it's the same kind of message with the hanged man, but you may be finding that things are just kind of at a slower pace or maybe something is blocked or at a standstill in July. Something that you would like to move forward or something that you would like to become more fair and balanced or someone that you would like to treat you in a more fair and balanced way. Um, you know, again, this card is one that will often come up when there's not much we can do to change the outcome. We can't change the circumstances. So they're advising, we'll just take some time out, rest, think about it, you know, consider other perspective, con perspectives, consider the, like where the other person is coming from. Um, but also I think there are hidden elements to this situation because you got Pedro here. So um, it's kind of like some of you may be waiting on some information to come to light. You may be waiting on someone to get back to you with some information because this rune is about like secrets and kind of skeletons coming out of the closet. Um, so yeah, more information needs to come to light before you can properly deal with this. And if it is a legal situation, then yeah, somebody's hiding something, it's gonna come out and that maybe that's the proof that you need to move this forward or that's the evidence or the information that you need to end this situation. Um, you do have Thurisas here as, as your advice as well or the help that's coming in for you. And that is a very powerful rune of protection and luck. 
So don't give up on whatever this is here at Capricorn. There's still some advice. There's still some information. There's still going to be some secrets coming out that are going to help you. Um, and it may be secrets that other people are trying very hard to hide, but maybe they didn't cover their tracks well enough um, or something of that nature. And um, there's not going to be an overnight fix, but it, this is kind of a one day at a time kind of situation. So whatever this is for you, Capricorns, that you're dealing with, it is, you know, just kind of look at it, take it one day at a time because new information is going to be illuminated and, and coming, coming out every step of the way. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like a very fast moving situation. It's not something you can kind of speed up, but, uh, it's not as, as dire or as difficult as it may look. It's kind of, it, it's just kind of one of those things with the hangman. It's like, it's just kind of hanging around, you know? And, um, some days you may have information or something you can do about it or deal with it. And other days you may just have to kind of, you know, sit back and wait. Now, the, what must be accepted about July? We've got the Eight of Swords in reverse. So this is about uh, walking out of a self-imposed prison. Again, kind of like um, not allowing yourself to feel trapped in a situation, not, al not allowing this situation to um, be the be all end all. You know, it's, it's one thing that you're dealing with in your life. And yes, it may be a big thing. It may be a big deal. It may be stressful. Um, but it's not going to stay, nothing, nothing stays the same, right? Uh, change is the only thing you can, you can guarantee in life. So, I mean, this, this too shall pass. And, um, that's what I feel you need to do is get out of your own head with the eight of swords in reverse. Like don't be, don't give in to feeling trapped because you're not, um, you're just in a state of waiting. Um, doesn't mean you'll, you will never be able to move past this or move forward. Um, because I feel like if you can kind of get out of that space and not get depressed about something or not get down about something, then, um, you know, you're going to find a new way to deal with it. And maybe that's the key to this, like not, you know, not repeating this lesson. And maybe, maybe that's what you used to do is kind of like, Oh, just shut down and, uh, give in to the hopelessness of it. Um, and give in to the, we live in our heads, right? So it's very hard for us to see situations sometimes from, especially if they're bigger situations, from the bigger picture we're, because we're just confined in this headspace and thinking about outcomes and what if this happens and what if, what if, what if, what if, right? Well, just deal with the concrete here and now, uh, what is. Change what if to what is. Here's what is. And what if doesn't matter. If what if becomes what is, we'll deal with it. If not, I'm not going to think about it. I'm not going to let it um, get to me or make me feel like I can't move forward. Um, but the outcome to July, we do have the moon card. So again, these, these are very similar. Pedro is kind of the, like the moon card here. The moon card is about secrets and things hidden, things we can't yet see. Um... Some of you may be feeling like, yeah, you have like a hidden enemy or there's something you're not seeing or there that is um, taking advantage of you or hurting you in some way. Some of you may have a health issue that you are dealing with and maybe you don't know what it is and maybe you've been to see doctors. Maybe that's what this is for some of you. Like nobody can figure out what is causing you to feel a certain way or what is causing these certain symptoms. And again, it's like, don't, you may be jumping to the worst possible thing it could be. But um, again, you don't have all the information, not necessarily the, uh, the truth, right? Um, but you're feel, feeling vulnerable in July, Capricorn here. And, uh, but it's because you don't have all the information. And there's some sort of mystery or secrets or something that needs to be revealed. Uh, information that you need before you can move forward on an issue or a problem or a court case or uh, a health issue, any of that stuff that uh, we were talking about earlier. Um, but it will be illuminated, but it's going to be, again, kind of going back to this, it's going to be gradual. It's not going to be, I don't think, for most of you in July, but more of a like how the moon does, you know, as it gets fuller, uh, 
more light, more light, more light, more information, more information, more information. So take it day by day. Um, you know, you can of course keep doing everything you can to investigate or, or, or find out what's going on, but there's a, just an element of July being a kind of wait and see month. Um, because more things need to be done, more information needs to be called, researched, somebody's gonna be going on a fact-finding mission. Um, somebody may be having somebody followed, like you could, somebody, maybe you hired a PI or um, maybe you're having somebody surveilled, there's like surveillance going on. So some of you maybe, maybe you're trying to find out if this Queen of Wands is uh, cheating on you or not. Um, so maybe you're having your spouse or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or someone followed, or maybe someone's doing that to you, Capricorn, and you're kind of like, because we did come up that you may have somebody following you or just kind of showing up wherever you are. For some of you, maybe this is not um, anybody interested in you romantically or that, that you're interested in. Maybe it's a PI or somebody who's like been hired by your spouse to find out if you're cheating, Capricorn. <laughs> 